Yeah, I don't want to offend anyone on the call, but Jamie Dimon came out earlier in the year and he said banks should be scared shitless about the fintechs and the neobanks. Yeah. And I'm assuming that you're uh, you're validating what he's saying from what you've seen. A hundred percent. You know, I mean, you know, I can just see, uh, you know, the, the BBVA, which is one of the world's sort of most innovative digital banks, uh, recently closed down a bank in America called uh, Simple. Yeah. Now, Simple was one of the first neo banks. It has got a you know incredibly loyal following. It did some amazing stuff. It its founders then sold it to BBVA, and guess what happened? It got pulled into this, the corporate world. There were project management meetings and governance meetings and budget meetings, and the whole ethos of that bank, because we're interviewing lots of those clients and many of their ex-users are on our super users now, are telling us, you know, this whole thing changed. The ethos in the company changed from being innovative and caring to being budget-driven and project-driven. And so guess what happened? You know, you were suddenly, you know, being, being uh, sort of governed by a huge bank and prioritized a long way down the IT priority list. When it was a startup, they just did, did everything that the customers needed them to. So I, I really do think the big banks have got, have got to watch out. Um, and, and I think the challenge is many of the big banks are starting to acquire neobanks. And, you know, there are a couple of success stories. Uh, uh, some of our ex-colleagues, Colin, uh, as you know, Ashley Vesey and uh, Craig Corti went to Canada. Ashley Vesey is the CIO of the biggest bank in Canada. And Craig Corti is the chief digital officer of Tangerine, their challenger bank. And that works brilliantly. They've got millions of customers in their challenger bank. But what they've done is they've left them alone. So they run it as a totally separate business. Um, they're still all colleagues, but they keep, it, they keep it totally separate. There are many other examples where banks have acquired, you know, a big interest or controlling interest in these, in these fintechs, try to fit them into their retail strategy. And it's a kiss of death, as it was with Simple Bank in the States. So, you know, we've been a, a beneficiary of, you know, several thousand uh, Simple customers. And many of them are our super users now, helping us build the features that they always thought that uh, uh, Simple was going to build for them. Um, but you can just see that, you know, more and more, this lack of customer centricity and actually solving real customer pain points and the cost, because the beauty is our infrastructure and the cost it's cost us to build this bank is a rounding error for the big banks. So we can do everything for free. We don't need big revenue streams to pay our salaries and keep our costs going. The big banks do. They've got tens of thousands of staff. They've still largely got big branch networks. They've got huge IT teams, thousands of people sitting managing mainframes and infrastructure. We have none of that. And you know we're a tiny shop. We've literally 14 uh, 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 software and IT engineers sitting in Cape Town, uh, 10 bankers sitting in Boston. That's our whole business today, you know, and it will grow and, you know.